Hello and welcome back to another video. This episode will be an introduction video on how to use the Mega Flash ROM in OpenMSX. In the next video, I will do a setup for the Mega Flash ROM and use this setup in the continuing episodes. When you install OpenMSX, it already creates a Mega Flash ROM directly after initializing all the extensions. I want to show you where you can find it and how it works and what can be done with it. You need to know where, where to find it and how OpenMSX looks up its data. We choose the Panasonic FS-A1GT together with the Mega Flash ROM. If we would now do start, it would open it. You would boot up in Multimente, a file manager program. What I want to show you is what can we do to change things. For example, we don't know what the size is of the Mega Flash ROM SD card inside this cartridge. We have to locate where these files are. The Mega Flash ROM must be somewhere in your program files. We have here program files, emulators, OpenMSX. And here we have share. Here we have the folder extensions. Inside the folder in extensions, we have Mega Flash ROM SCC plus blah blah blah. This is the whole thing. It's a bit of a uh, HTML language. Here it has the name. This name is exactly this name. We go over to this section, SD card 1. Here you have the file name and the size. It's only 8 megabytes. The size of these numbers are in megabytes. The largest SD card you can create is 4 gigabytes. I think this is the maximum, 4 gigabytes content you can put on an SD card in your Mega Flash ROM. There's also a second SD card. The default is 100 megabytes. There's also another storage part on the Mega Flash ROM. That's the Mega Flash ROM SSC plus SSD SRAM. This also contains 8 megabytes fixed size. When you create a new Mega Flash ROM SCC plus cartridge, this is always installed. We now know we can manipulate the size of the SD cards in this file. Close this file. I want to show you the machines. These are in another folder. I'm gonna open it on the other side. That's in Documents, Open MSX, Share, System ROMs, and Machines. And here we have all the machines. It's a little bit like this, but it's not exactly the same. When you load up this the first time and you press Start, it will create three files. It will create SD card 1.sdc, SD card 2.sdc, and the Mega Flash ROM SSC plus SD.sram. These three files will be created. You can find them in Documents, OpenMSX, Persistent, Mega Flash ROM underscore SCC plus underscore SD. Untitled 1. And here we have them. These are the files. It's the 8 megabytes, the 100 megabytes, and the fixed 8 megabytes of the SRAM. This file is pre-configured and has some extra system files on it and the program Multimente that it will boot into. Let's just start her up and let's see what it does. I'll just remove them. Like this. So if we look at the status info, I'll press start. And then it says SRAM file. Whoa, oh, it now uh, oh, it skips. It says SRAM file Mega Flash from SCC plus SD was not found. Assuming blank SRAM content. Load initial content for Flash ROM from. This is where he loads the file from because he thinks it's blank. He will fill it for you and recreate that file. He will only do it when you exit your MSX. So if I go into this folder now. The file isn't there. there. These files are also zero kilobytes. So you think, hey, what the hell is going on? No worry. If I now do exit, then we have stopped the process. It will finish what it started and will create the files. Now it has a mega flash from SCC plus SD RAM and the two SD cards after you've stopped the MSX machine. Now I don't like these sizes, you know. I don't need a second SD card for my tutorial. You could use the second one, make it a size of 16 megabytes. That way you can use it as 
MSX DOS 1 mode as I've shown with the Sunrise IDE. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to show you what we can do. Let's say we want to create a 500 megabytes SCC plus SD in our program files. We opened it before. Here we can set the size and we're going to create a 512 megabytes. We remove the second one. You can just throw away this part until this part where it says the start SD card 2 and with the slash SD card 2. Just remove it and you have one SD card. If I would say save, it will not save. I'll show you why because it's Windows. And Windows is sometimes very nasty. I don't have permission. We're back in Windows. Oh my god, Microsoft. What are you doing? How can I store this? First we can save it as. We can save it as and then we save it in, well, what shall we say? Desktop, we have the MSX. We copy it here. Now we're in the MSX folder. We still got it here. What we can do is we can copy it over here. You say replace file in the destination. Yes, it will ask permission again. And now it will say, okay, go ahead. Now we have one SD card with a size of 512 megabytes. We can reboot the OpenMSX. I also want to open my documents. And go to OpenMSX Persistent Mega Flash ROM with SD. It's empty. We've selected Machine, Turbo R, and this extension. Just check if you haven't selected another option because you can select more cartridges at the same time. We select it. The info is not that important. It will say the same thing. It hasn't found the S ramp. Let's start. It's calculating, calculating. It's taking more time. It only finds one SD card. And we're loaded into the S ram. We're going to copy these files to our 512 megabytes SD card, etc, etc. That's for the next video. What I didn't show was that it has created these two files now. One of 512 megabytes, well, it alters that a little bit because it's FAT16. Now we can put files on the SD card and I'll show you in the next video. Bye.